my viewers today we will discuss about stem modifications stem is the ascending part of the axis it bears branches leaves fruits and mainly develop from the plumule develop from the plumule and what is the function of stem yes it bears branches it bears branches are spreading branches and also it conduct water minerals and also photosynthesis and some extra functions also there those are called modifications stem modifications are three types number 1 aerial stem modification Windows. Number one, tendrils. Tendrils are wiry, sensitive, and coiled structures. The function of the tendril is useful for climbing example for tendrils cucumber pumpkin water melon second aerial stem modification is thorns thorns are woody pointed structures function of the thorns is gives a protection from grazing animals example for thorns is citrus bougainvillea third type of aerial stem modification is phylloclades remember these are observed in the plants which are grown in arid zone in those plants stem is green color stem is green color it perform photosynthesis so that it is called a phylloclade example of phylloclade is opuntia in this plant phylloclade is flattened flattened structure phylloclade is present and another example is there that is a euphorbia in this plant phylloclade is cylindrical second type of stem modification is subaerial stem modification this first one is runners underground stem of some branches underground stem of some plants such as banana sorry grasses 
and strawberry branches spread to new niches branches spread to new niches when these plants older parts are die it grow individually as a new plants it means runners are involved in vegetative propagation example is some grasses and also strawberry and second type is stone observed in the plants like jasmine in this plant later branches are weak later branches are weak they grow obliquely downward direction and contact with the soil it produces roots and shoot system when the stolon is separated from the parent plant it grow individually it grow individually this is called stolon third type of subjective modification is sucker in some plants like chrysanthemum banana pineapple a new branch develop from the base of the stem the branch grow obliquely upward direction obliquely upward direction and grow a new branches when the sucker separated from the parent plant it grow individually this is called sucker fourth one of subjective so modification is offset offset sir develop from the axil of the leaf axil of the leaf with one internode length with one internode length then the growth of the branch is stop it grows again from that node rosette manner leaves and also root system example is pistia third type of stem modification is underground stem modification in this number one is rhizome rhizome it grow horizontally in the soil it grow horizontally in the soil it contains nodes internodes axillary buds and the terminal buds scale leaf roots and also it stores food material second type is so example for rhizome is ginger and another example is the turmeric second type of underground stem modification is corn corn grows vertically in the soil it contains nodes 
internodes, axillary buds, terminal buds, scale leaves, roots, and also it stores food materials. Example for corn is colocasia. Colocasia. Third type of underground stem modification is stem tuber. In some plants like uh, potato, a new branch develop from the base of the stem towards inside the side. The branch stores food materials and become tuber like structure. That is called stem tuber. It contains eyes. Contains ice. Ice are represents of nodes. It represents nodes. These eyes are involved in vegetative propagation. Vegetative propagation. It stores food materials in the form of starch. Example is potato. And third one is bulb. Fourth one is bulb. Bulbs are observed in onion. And also in garlic. In this type, stem is condensed to biconvex shape. Condensed to biconvex shape. It cannot store food materials. The remaining three types, it stores food materials. Stores food materials. It also stores food materials in the form of starch. But in bulb, there is no storage of food materials. Stem is condensed in the form of biconvex shape. Leaves, leaf bases, stores food materials and become fleshy. Leaf base stores food materials and become fleshy. It contains axillary birds and also terminal birds. Example is onion and garlic. 